Right, to a follow up to my first video of the Insignia engine knocking, I'm now going to take the sump off this old engine and uh, see what the problem is, shall we? Crack on. Two there. Two there. And that was just. Uh, we got a spinning nut. So, now we've ready. got that removed. Let's crack on and get the rest of the bolts removed, shall we? Get in there. It's a bit hard to do this one-handed, but we shall prevail. And uh, we're still one. That's it. Give it a whack. Okay, give it another whack. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I lost the head of my rubber mallet. I think it's about time I got the one off. Okay, just now that's should have freed. What do we find? Oh. Ah, right. Okay. What do we find? Oh, this here. The comments for the all pickup on these is this little O ring here. This little O ring here tends to fail, causing low oil pressure. Uh. Ah. There you go, there's the course look. Look, look at that. That is a big Yeah. Bottom end gone. That was the, the noise of the knocking. Out. Let's get this uh, bound cap off and heavy loop, shall we? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, where's the bearing shell? Where is the bearing shell? It's totally destroyed the baron shell. Huh. Totally. Okay. Let's check the rest. Definitely all starvation. <laughs> Must be.
yeah, uh, it's not where some pitting, not much, but compared to bearing number three, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> the bearing shells just failed on number three. Whether to do with blockage or not, is anybody's guess. I was half expecting to be number four. Uh, let's uh, crank his engine in here and take it number. Let's take a cab out. <laughs> let's take it number four. Let's see what number four looks like, shall we? Huh. I've not seen a bearing shell on that. Ah, uh, is it? Yeah, no, it's that. Uh, yeah. And yeah. It's starting to go. So number three failed on that one. <coughs> number one. <coughs> yeah, again there, there is where and there as well, a little bit scrawl on there. And yeah, original shells. So, yeah. Well, that's it. That was the cause of the engine knocking away as if there's no tomorrow. I think I'll continue with this vid and. Uh, Take off the main bearing journals for the uh, crank, shall we? Let's take the water off. Come on. For some reason, oh, that's rather tight to the oil pump. See what we've got, shall we? No, okay. I'm not going. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I would say uh, a definite low oil pressure. So the root cause of a blown engine. <laughs> That one don't even want to come out. There we go. Oh. What's that in there? That's in there tight. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Same goes to that. Mind you, yeah, GM, but yeah, definite pin. <laughs> that one's uh, I can't. 
was uh, like uh, stuck on the uh, <laughs> stuck in place. Ah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, look at that! Chewed right up. Right at the end of the crank. So it's not just a case of sticking the new shells. This ends your hair. You know, basically, yeah, new shells. And the conditioner, number three. Nah. Even with a re uh, that's too bad even for a regrind or even a polish. Too bad. Well, there you have it. The course of the infamous Insignia A20 DTH engine knocking, all down to possibly the most common cause is this little rubber ring here for the oil pickup. Let's when they that is awfully hard. When they go, they start drawing in air, causing the oil to go foamy, resulting in a drop in oil pressure the bottom end of the engine. There you go. Happy watching.